We're speaking with uh, Brad Nolan, Director of Pro Product Planning and Strategy for Bombardier's uh, Business Aircraft Division. Thanks for speaking with us. Can you give us an update on uh, Bombardier's product line in, in the business aircraft market? Sure we can. So we have a brand new Lear 7075 in the marketplace. We had uh, 30 orders in 2014. We're going to have a, another strong uh, you know, number of deliveries uh, in 2015 for this product. Lear 7075 have brand new interiors, upgraded engines, brand new avionics we from Garmin 5000. So our Lear product line, Learjet product line is going very strong. Challengers, uh, so the Challenger 350 and now the Challenger 650, um, again, with new interiors, upgraded engines, and new avionics from Proline, uh, Proline 21 Advanced, doing very, very well in the marketplace. With the Challengers, we typically have uh, a 50% market share, and we'll see that again in 2015. Great this year, the Challenger 350 actually will be the most delivered aircraft in business aviation. That's what we've seen in the first uh, uh, three out of four quarters this year. And we just, just delivered our 1,000th Challenger 650. So that delivery was to NetJets, and we just made that announcement today at the show. So Learjet and Challenger are going very strong. On the globals, global 5,000 and 6,000. Again, we delivered 80 aircraft in 2014. Very strong year uh, for globals, and we're on track to have a very similar year uh, in 2015 for the global product line. Sounds, uh, sounds great. Looking forward over the next five years, how do you see the evolution of your product line? I know you've got the Global 7000 and 8000 coming out. What's the status of those programs as well? Sure. We're very much now focused um, at Bombardier Business Aircraft on the success of the Global 7000 and Global 8000. We had a great industry event uh, on November 3rd in Toronto where we brought uh, industry to see the first two flight test vehicles being manufactured on the line uh, in Toronto today. They're both fully structurally uh, assembled. They look amazing and customers can't wait to get, uh, get their hands on these aircraft. For the 7,000, 8,000, we have a very strong um, backlog, a very strong order book. Um, this is going to be an amazing aircraft that flies uh, up to Mach 0.925, uh, 7,300 nautical miles for the Global 7,000, and 7,900 nautical miles for the Global 8,000. So very long range and uh, competing with your, with, your, with your guys down in Savannah with those kind of performance numbers. Very long range aircraft, and like I said, we have 40% of this market and we continue to keep it plan to keep it that way. Uh, if we look at the uh, the market going forward, we've seen some changes, uh, a little bit of uh, a drop in the market in the BRICS countries, especially in China, uh, a little bit of an increase in North America. Where do you see the market is evolving over the next five years? Sure. So we're looking at um, you know, our own forecast, that we're which we released in May this year uh, at eBase. We're forecasting 9,000 deliveries over uh, over the next 10 years. Um, and you know, those, uh, you know, we're going to see a strong um, take up 2017-18 as the market turns. In the near term in 2016, we're expecting really to continue this uh, modest recovery that we've seen in 2014-2015. We expect 2016 to be pretty similar to what we've seen in 2015, again with a concentration um, largely on the U.S. market. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much.